Pop it, fam. It's your boy Unk No Pump. Unk No Pump. Well, another short video just for you. This video is going to be about rape. Prostitution should be legalized, you know. And some statistics from countries where um, <clears throat> rape is prevalent at, you know what I'm saying? Put, check it out, I said, fam. Rape is an unlawful sexual activity typically involving sexual intercourse, <clears throat> excuse me, done forcibly or under threat of injury against a person's will. Rape is a global problem. It's estimated that a, approximately 35% of women worldwide have experienced sexual harassment in their lifetime. In most countries with data available on rape, less than 40% of women who experience sexual violence seek help. Less than 10% seek assistance from law enforcement. Check it out, fam. Like I said from a video I made, I spoke to a couple of sisters out there, you know, a few sisters out there, you know, who I sat down, ready really to talk to, just have um, a real deep conversation with, right? And they'll tell you about their problems. Like I said before, a lot of these sisters out there go through the same problems that men got, you know, don't know their fathers, you know, so they're reaching out for men or, you know, they, they don't have it. They don't have no man figure in their lives, right? So just imagine all these females out there, these young girls and stuff like that, young ladies out there who are being taken advantage of by people. Some of people that they know, family members and things like that, uncles, fucking whatever granddaddies, with fathers and things like that, who are being raped and things like that. You know, it really touched me because the sisters I talked to, about five of them, three of them have been raped. One had been raped multiple times. And I was like, damn, they may think this is a this is a, a, a problem in our community. A real problem inside our community. Last year, you no, know, we was all talking about the missing children, you know, missing women. How many fifty thousand people are missing? You no, know, there was over ton of fifty thousand um young ladies are missing, things like that. It seems like now no one's talking about it. You know, like I say for I think people talk about um topics Good topics or topics we should talk about always. We should be at the forefront. All these topics should be there because we talk about missing kids and missing women. Now no one talks about it. Why? Because I guess they didn't made enough videos and got enough views out of it there. They don't think about it no more. No one thinks about the missing people, you know, the missing kids, all the rapes and things like that, right? It made me think about things because I saw a, it was a video, right, about... um. It was South Africa. South Africa has the most rapes in the damn world. You know, Africa, the, 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 we call it Lesotho, Lesotho, some other, some other places out there. These dudes raping little babies. You know, and when I say this, raping little babies, I'm talking about babies. I'm not talking about no eight years old. I'm talking about babies, like two, one year old babies. Because they, they was taught that uh, if you are HIV positive and if you have sex with a virgin, or a little kid, babies with that, somehow it will go away. This is how primitive these people are. To even believe something like that, you know what I'm saying? Rape is wild, telling you, around, around the world, you know what I'm saying? People are being raped, not just women, men, children, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but no one's really talking too much about it. It's like, man. But like I say, you know, for in the Western society, you will talk about, um, like, how you saying, um, America, Canada, and things like that there, where there's a lot of rape cases out there, you know? If you check, it's like, damn, that, like, that much people got raped? Like, damn, that's what's going on out there, you know what I'm saying? And um, the solution to it is to legalize it, you know what I'm saying? To legalize um, prostitution, like they're doing out there in, um, in Las Vegas out there, the, the, the Bunny Ranch, Homeboy, got you guys little stuff out there going, plus all the other... Um, Brothels, you know what I'm saying? These things are, how do you say, they're keeping the peace. They're keeping things down. Put like this here. You got lots of men out there who do not know how to talk to a female. Don't know how to make contact. They're shy. Something wrong with them. So they stay in the house. They play little video games or whatever they do at home. They're alone. They're loner, right? But he still wakes up more time with erection. He, want, he, wants, he, want, he wants some, but don't know how to get it, right? So all that build up, build up, build up. He don't know how to meet a woman, you know, have to have a relationship, you know, talk with a woman, get to, get to sleep with her. He don't know how to do that. So it builds up, builds up. All of a sudden, boom, 
He's out there driving around some van looking for little young girls with a hop by van, grabbing them, tying them up, beating them up, killing them, whatever, and raping them. You know, this is a major problem in the U.S. That's why I say they need to legalize prostitution through all the 50 states. <clears throat> Excuse me. Through all the 50 states. All this rape stuff will go down. It will go down, right? Because you see in Europe, for example, where it's legal, you don't hear about too many rape cases. You know, somebody get picked up, snatched up, and all doing things like that. Why? Because you have things called the red light district, you know, where parts of towns, you know, you can um, pay your, your money, whatever, go inside the house, you see red lights in, in the buildings. They're almost like old buildings, you know, the parts of towns like there, you know what I'm saying? We can go in there, you pay your money, and um, how you saying? Get you um some loving, you know what I'm saying? Get you some loving, you know what I'm saying, for a half an hour, you know, release, you know, release, you know, get that tension out, you know what I'm saying? That's these motherfuckers they need inside of the states there. They need a place where they can go. You know, you worked all week, and then you need to get you a beer, get you an orgasm, and calm down. You know, but there's too many, millions and millions of men out there who can't do that. So then they, they like, huh, look out the window, look at the little kids, and wait for 10. They come like, they come like animals, you know, it's like predator and prey, you know, then these pedophile dudes, you know, trying to snatch up something that can't fight back, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't know how to um, talk to somebody, right? But like I said, if, if it was legalized, he can go down to, to the spot, they pay for some, and get them some. But like I said, getting back to Europe, they have things called Eero Centers. That's E-R-O-S, Center. I believe it's um, in the Italian language, Eros means love, you know? I think it means love. So any time America's out there, any time it's about there, y'all know, you correct me if I'm wrong. But they have these these buildings out there all through Europe, Amsterdam, Hamburg, Frankfurt, everywhere, you know. And people go inside there and they'll pay to get them some loving, right? Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's legal. These females, they um how are you saying? They pay taxes, they go to the doctors like every once or two weeks or whatever to get their um their checkups and their shots. You know what I'm saying? Checkup and shots, right? So, therefore, say, it, I'm not saying it's 100% safe because condoms do break. You know, if y'all use condoms, you little, you little butt eaters, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, like I say, it keeps the peace. You don't hear anybody raping. Someone he, he can go down and pay, what, $20, $30, whatever, $40, $50, whatever it costs for some loving for a half an hour, whatever. Then so be it, you know what I'm saying? The females pay taxes, they go to the doctors, get their checkups, everything's legal, everything's smooth. You don't hear about that. You, know, you don't hear about all that stuff there. These women being kidnapped for, for sexual reasons and things like that. It doesn't happen out in Europe. But America, they, they, they need to change that there, you know. And get, <laughs> and get some legalized prostitutes, some brothels around, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying have it all over the place there. But, you know, certain parts of the place, you know, you can go get, get, go get something at, right? I mean, back in the days of 42nd Street, they had, they had a lot of little, um, what you call, whore houses out there, you know, saying, you know, walk up little steps, they had little things there. I was I was too young to indulge in that, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm saying, but it, it was there. It were options. People need options, you know, if they want some loving. They can't be sitting around and, you know, just balls about the bus, you know what I'm saying? Balls about the bus. You know, and can't get no loving. So they need to legalize it. Same as the way they legalize marijuana in um, Colorado. And they see all other states now hopping on the bandwagon now. Why can see how, how much co- money Colorado making annually? Every state should hop on the bandwagon. They fucking stupid. Especially them dumbass southern states like Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi and stuff like that. They need to hop on that stuff quick. You know, get them some money. But, um, you know, these little conservatives, eh, about this, is the Bible Belt and all that bullshit. That's why they're starving down there, you know what I'm saying? Word up. But like I say, fam, you know, legalize it. Legalize their marijuana, you know what I'm saying? Legalize it. People smoking cigarettes are killing hundreds of thousands of people annually. Have you ever seen someone or heard about someone dying off a joint? All you're going to do is get hungry and lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> That's all it's going to do, you know what I'm saying? But hey, fam, like I said, Prostitution should be legal, you know. It'll cut down on the rapes from our sisters out there, you know what I'm saying? Because there's too many sisters out there being raped. And a lot, of these, a lot of these sisters are not reporting it. The most are not reporting it. They have, they have shame. 
You know, have shame because lies, lies is, is being done by someone that they know. You know what I'm saying? It could be a brother. It could be an uncle or granddaddy or whoever, the father, whoever it is. They know these people. Sometimes they, they feel shame, say fam. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, hey, legalized prostitution. Legalized prostitution. It's better for the world. <laughs> it's better for the nation. You know what I'm saying? Everyone needs somewhere to go to to release. You know what I'm saying? Legally. You know what I'm saying? Instead of driving around some Scooby Doo van, these little pedophile dudes picking up little kids, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, fam? Legalize, legalize, legalize prostitution. It's the oldest profession. Nothing sells better than vagina. There's nothing better than vagina in the world. And hey, do it. And I'm out, fam. Peace.